C. Oh, it's my Auntie Bertha. Your Auntie Bertha? What yeah. has she got to do with high C? She sells them in the cinema, doesn't she? High C! High C! Get your high C here! It, it, it has I... nothing to do with your Auntie Bertha yeah. or your Uncle Charlie yeah. or your Auntie Molly or your sister Fred. I haven't got a sister, Fred. What are you talking about? Today's story is about Pepper and some pirates. Oh, I like them, Mr. Howard. Mm. All those coloured feathers and those big yellow beaks. Who's a pretty boy, then? Who's a pretty boy? Who's a pretty boy? Talking about big yellow beaks. Pirates, not parrots. Oh, all right. Pepper wasn't very happy. No. It had been raining all morning and he'd had to stay indoors. Oh, I wouldn't be happy if I had to stay indoors when it was raining. Why not? It's, <laughs> the roof leaks. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper watched the rain making puddles in the garden. Yeah. He saw a leaf floating about him, bobbing about in one of them. Yes. It reminded Pepper of a ship on the sea. Oh, yes. He began to think of all the different kinds of ships he'd seen in pictures. Yes. Steamships, sailing ships. Fish and chips. Fish and chips. Steamships, sailing ships, pirate ships. Pirate ships, thought Pepper with a smile on his face. Huh? He thought he could hear voices from somewhere behind him. Who's a cheeky boy, then? Who's, Who's a cheeky, a cheeky it was the parrots on the parrot ship, wasn't it? Pirate ship? There were no parrots. Heave o me hearties, haul in that sail. Heave o me hearties, haul in the sail. Aye, aye, oh, aye, aye. Pepper was standing on the deck of a ship. Huh? He looked round. Yeah. Pepper was on a pirate ship. Get away. A fierce looking pirate with a hairy face and a huh? patch over one eye was shouting orders to the others. Two steak and chips, three fish fingers and chips. Not was... that kind of order. He was the captain. Was he? Move yourselves, me hearties, he yelled. Move yourselves, me hearties, he yo, he mo, he ah. Oh, cool, that hurt. The captain was a cruel man. He's not the only one, I can tell you. Agony, that was. Oh. The harder the pirates worked, the more he shouted at them. Yeah. Suddenly, one of the pirates threw himself at the feet of the captain. Ah! Now what's the matter? He landed on his big toe. No, he didn't. Oh, I beg your pardon. Please, Captain, he pleaded. We can't work any more without food. So they caught an octopus, and they all had a leg each. <laughs> Food, roared the captain. Yeah. Food, you had food yesterday. Now get back to work before I flog you all. Oh, nasty. They can't work without food, called Pepper. They certainly can't, Mr. Eat. Who said that? I did. I know you did. Who said that? You did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. I heard you. Will you let me get on with the story? Will you stop saying who said that? Who said that? Yelled oh. the captain in his fiercest voice. Why didn't you say so? <sighs> I did, said Pepper. Captain turned round and glared at him. Who well, is in for it now, isn't he, Mr. And Howard? Who uh, are you? asked the captain. Uh, I'm Pepper, and you can't frighten me, said Pepper. Can't frighten him? Who's he kidding? I can hear his knees knocking from here. Uh, Pepper wasn't frightened. He wasn't. Oh, I beg your pardon. It's not his knees, it's mine. The captain mm. grabbed Pepper. Yeah. What are you going to do? asked Pepper. Well, he wasn't going to ask him home to tea, that's for sure, was he? The captain glared at him. Yeah. You'll walk the plank, he said. The captain pointed to a piece of wood sticking out from the side of the ship. It was falling to pieces, was it? No, it wasn't. Oh. That was the plank. Oh, the plank. You'll walk along that until you get to the end, he said. Yeah. Then what do I do, asked Pepper nervously. You fall off, the captain roared with laughter. Oh, very nasty. But suddenly, Pepper had a thought. Yes. Uh, perhaps you could show me, said Pepper. Huh? Show you, roared the captain, show you. It's easy enough, isn't it? You just climb on the plank like this. He's not going to. Then you walk along to the end like this. Huh? The captain walked the plank and stopped at the end. He's going to. Then what do I do, asked Pepper. You walk off the end like, ah, and with a splash, the captain fell into the sea. He did. He was a soggy skipper, wasn't he? The pirates cheered and cheered. Grab us a fish while you're down there, they yelled. Hurrah for Captain Pepper, they shouted. Yeah. Captain Pepper, said Pepper in surprise. Huh? That's right, said the pirates. You're the captain now. Oh. Pepper was pleased. He ordered the pirates to pull the captain out of the sea, yeah. and they tied him to the mast. That's not a very nice thing to do to Pepper, is it? Not Pepper. They tied the captain to the mast. Oh, I beg your pardon. Hurrah for Captain Pepper, they shouted. Hurrah for Captain Pepper, they shouted. Yes. I'm reading the story. Well, get on with it, then. And they went to make their dinner. What were they having for dinner, then, Mr. Howard? Well, I don't know what they're having for dinner. It doesn't matter. It does if they're having kippers and custard. Pepper doesn't like kippers and custard. All right, they weren't having kiss, uh, kippers and custard. I thought you didn't know what they were having for dinner. I don't. How do you know they weren't having kippers and custard, I then? I just do. Oh, all right. Hurrah for Captain Pepper, thought yeah. Pepper, with a proud smile on yeah. his face. Just then, he heard someone else calling. It was my Auntie Edna. What's she got to do with she it? She doesn't like kippers and custard, either. It was not your Auntie Edna. Oh. It was his mum. Huh? Pepper, your dinner's ready, huh? she called. He looked round. He was back home. Huh? Pepper had been daydreaming. Get away! <laughs> I hope you're hungry, called his mum. Huh? Oh, yes, said Pepper. 
I'm the hungriest pirate of all. So she gave him a big bowl of bird seed. <laughs> <laughs> the hungriest pirate of all. I beg your pudding. Oh, is that the end of the story, Mr. Howard? Yes, it is, Basil. Oh, well, I, let's we read the story again. All I'll right. read it with you this time. Right. Right. Before we start, yeah. are you sure you're ready? Yes, I am. Mm. Mr. Howard. Right. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Mm. Mr. Howard. What? That now? makes two of us, doesn't it? <laughs> Come on, then. Let's get on with it. Oh, marvellous. Pepper watched the rain. Pepper watched the rain. Pepper was on a pirate ship. Pepper was on a pirate ship. The captain was a cruel man. The captain was a cruel man. You can't frighten me, said Pepper. You can't f f frighten me, said Pepper. You'll walk the plank, he said. You'll walk the plank, he said. The captain walked the plank. The captain walked the plank. Hurrah for Captain Pepper. Hurrah for Captain Pepper. Pepper had been daydreaming. Pepper had been daydreaming. Hey, we could make a picture of something from the story with my card, you know, Mr. Howard. I thought you were going to well, say that. Well, get the box. Come on now. That's it. Come on, open it up. Now, what should we make? What sort of picture today, Mr. Howard? I know. Let's make a pirate. A pirate? Well, go on then. See if we can make the pirate captain. Now, what do you need first? Well, he had a hairy face, didn't he? Go on then. Find a hairy face. Mm. That's it. Good. Oh, lovely. There. Ooh. Hairy face. Hairy face, a hairy face for a horrible pirate. Uh, what do we need next, Mr. Howard? Well, he also had a big body, didn't yeah. he? Oh, yes. Right. So find a big body. Uh, oh, there. Yeah. Good. Big body. Hairy face, big body. What else does a pirate need? Well, he also needs some legs, doesn't he? Oh, to walk the plank with. Aye, 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 oh, aye, aye. Two legs. Ah, a hairy face, big body, two legs. Is that your pirate? Hairy face, yeah. big body, two legs. Yes, that's definitely a pirate. Sure. I'm very. Well, let's really have a sure. look at him then. Come on. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> Hairy face, Ooh. big body, <laughs> two <laughs> legs. <laughs> <laughs> that's the funniest pirate I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, dear, you've caught me again. <laughs> the time has come for us to go. We hope you will agree. It's been a lot of fun today for you and him and me. Goodbye from Mr. Howard. Goodbye from Master Brush. Until next time we hear you shout, let's read with Basil Brush. Let's read with Basil Brush.